Hi everybody, welcome to Miss Sarah's Math Corner, and this video is about area. In the first video, we spoke about perimeter, so you might notice that the pictures are exactly the same. But we're going to find something a little bit different this time and talk about something different having to do with these particular shapes, because we're not measuring around anymore. It's not perimeter. This is area. Area is the space inside of a shape. So this space inside here, real life examples, perhaps you're laying down a carpet or putting down a floor, or perhaps they're putting asphalt or something outside in a play area. And that's literally the space that you're using to cover something. Maybe you're painting a wall. It's the same idea. So area, we're going to find the space inside. Now, when we're dealing with squares and rectangles, we're going to focus on this video of the area of squares and rectangles. And there's a formula. A formula in math is the rule to follow in order to find the answer to something. The area for squares and rectangles are found by multiplying the length and the width. length times width. And this works for squares and rectangles. So the length is usually the longer part of the rectangle. That's this part right here. And the width is the shorter part. But hey, if you get them mixed up, it doesn't matter because you're still multiplying both numbers anyways. So length times width is area. So that means in this case, the area of this shape is seven times five, which is 35. I'm gonna check the units of measure. It's in centimeters. And when I deal with area, it's really important to use centimeters or meters, whatever the unit is, squared. That's what we say, we put a little two there. The two is there to represent the two dimensions of the shape, which are length and width. Since there's two dimensions, we put a little two there. And we read this as 35 centimeters squared. You might have used this when you were in younger grades and you might have used it in an array. An array, looks like this. So array was uh, a way to help you start with your learning how to multiply. So it might have been suggested to you, this array is showing three times three. So instead of counting all of the little dots inside something, all you would have to do is multiply and then you would know automatically what's inside. This is the same trick. So we know how much space inside is covering or how many square units fit inside this particular shape. So that is basic area length times width of a rectangle. The same thing works for squares. So next, the same principle is going to apply with an irregular shape or a shape that doesn't look like it's supposed to. In this particular case, we started off by having some kind of a rectangle, but Looks like a piece has been cut out of it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if the piece has been cut out, we have several strategies in which um, to help us find out what the area is. Now, some people, they like to cut the space that they have in little pieces and solve it like that, and that totally works. But here's another strategy that I like to use. So the first thing is you want to find the area of the whole shape. So you want to imagine that this is actually a complete rectangle first. So you imagine that the little piece is not cut out of it. So imagine that it is actually a whole entire rectangle. Let's find that first. So I'm going to go up to my original formula, length times width. So if this was a whole entire rectangle, I know it would have to solve. I'm going to put the number one here, step number one length times width. Okay, so 10 times eight. 
So the area of whole rectangle. So area of the whole rectangle is length times width or 10 centimeters times eight centimeters. And that of course, 10 times eight is 80. And remember, we're checking to see what the unit of measurement it is. It is centimeters, and because it's area, it's centimeters squared. So that's if this was a beautiful, complete rectangle, but it's not. A little piece is actually taken out of it. So then the next thing I want to do is find out, well, what is the area of the piece that has been taken out? So the area of this little piece here, if I look inside, I'm going to color the inside here. So if I imagine what this little area looked like here, I know that one side is four and the other side is three. So how do I find the area of this little rectangle right here? Well, it's the same thing, length times width. So four times three. So four times three is 12 centimeters squared. So if the whole entire rectangle used to be 80 centimeters, and now I'm taking off the piece that's 12 centimeters, if I take something off, that means I'm going to subtract it. So here I go, step number three. I subtract the difference to find just this part inside here of what's left over. This part doesn't exist. It has been removed. It's only this right now. So the whole thing used to be 80. I'm taking away 12. And then I get 68 centimeters squared. So the area of this whole thing here, not this, this has been cut off. This was the shape, a weird looking L thing. The area of that is 68 centimeters squared. By finding the area of the whole thing, finding the area of the little bit that's been cut off and taking it away. So that is area of rectangles and area of irregular shapes that are similar to rectangles and squares. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.